welcome to Cooking with Debs and Soaps. And today we are making strawberry jam sandwiches flapjack. But there are no sandwiches in this recipe. Yeah. We are starting with, um, do you know what, there's a lot of numbers here so I'm just going to type the recipe out in the um, info below the video. So we've got oats and we've got plain flour and baking powder. Now this is a recipe that you can easily make um, allergy friendly, although my friend Evie would not be able to eat it in this version because it's got coconut in, but she could use a different oil. We've got, I'm using some normal, um, perfect for cakes cooking margarine, but if you wanted to make it um, allergy friendly or vegan, you could put in some Vitalite or some Pure or another dairy free spread. So we've got margarine, put that in. I've got some coconut oil. We've got some applesauce. Get my honey out of the I forgot to get the honey out. You can use our dandelion honey. I've got brown sugar. Right, so technically honey is not vegan, but if you use this, which is dandelion honey, it would be vegan. You need a tablespoon of that, but I don't have a tablespoon in hand, so I'm going to stick in a couple of spoonfuls of that. Um, so we've got oats, flour, baking powder, or you could use self-raising flour instead of flat grain flour. We've got coconut oil, we've got brown sugar, we've got margarine, we've got honey, let's mix, and applesauce. Can you give it a mix? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to mix it up to be a nice um, dough mix, whatever it is, um, completely mixed up. And then we're going to put half in the tin and then we're going to spread strawberry jam on it and then we'll put a cover over the other half. So that's what makes it a strawberry jam sandwich. Oh, it's coming together lovely. Now those of you watching carefully will notice I've had a bit of tin indecision. I'm going to go for this tin. Just, it didn't mention greasing, but I just think it's always a good idea to grease. So we need about half of this mixture. I'm gonna roughly divide it. And then you spread that like all over the base of the gel. Will be quite thin but because it's got the flour and the raising agent in it should puff up a bit when you bake it. The recipe says four tablespoons of jam to go in, in between. Um, I would suggest you use your eye and see what you think. Do you want to use that spoon and spread it out a bit? Please remember when you're baking that this jam in the middle is going to get really really hot so when you take it out of the oven you need to let it cool for a little while um, before you slice into it and serve it. Oh, and talking about the oven, um, I've preheated it to 180 degrees C, which is gas mark 4 or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Could you think a little bit more? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The great thing about homemade strawberry jam is that it has proper lumps of strawberry in it. Is that the kid? Yeah. Good. Let's show you the edges. Oh, it's amazing. Let's take a tiny bit more here. You could use any type of jam. It doesn't have to be strawberry jam. Use whatever your favourite is. Right, I'm going to go for dropping little balls of this on the top. And then I think it's going to be 
easy. It's easier to spread it out. There we go. It's ready for the oven.